Welcome to our October Council Meetings Recap, Hyattsville. Yes, welcome to another installment, loyal viewers. Brian and me are loving this fall weather. It is perfect for recapping. Why don't you start us off, Brian? On it. It's official, folks. After tallying the votes for the 2022 Ward 2 special election, Ms. Emily Straub is our new Ward 2 council member. Ms. Straub will serve the remainder of Mayor Cross's former council seat term until 2025. We'd also like to thank our special candidates Kelly Borello and Lisbeth Melinda Rivera for willing to step up and serve their community and all you Ward 2 voters for making your voices heard. Woohoo! And don't worry, Hyattsville, we have no more special elections planned until next year's citywide election, so we all have time to catch our breaths. Woohoo! In other news, applications are now open to residents for the city's Household Emergency Relief Program. Regardless of legal status, individuals and families may be eligible for up to $2,500 per adult and $1,250 per dependent child, not to exceed $5,000 per household. Applications can be completed online or by scheduling an appointment to apply in person. It looks like this area may be getting a much needed redesign. Council was presented with recommendations on a proposed redesign of Alley Church Place, and in a couple months we could be seeing bump outs, a dedicated loading area for commercial vehicles, a bike lane, and enhanced safety measures for pedestrians. Council is expected to approve the project next month, but we'll be sure to keep you posted. Council issued a letter with recommendations to the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission regarding the staff draft of the West Hyattsville Queens Chapel Sector Plan and the proposed sectional map amendment. Say that line three times. <laughs> Recommendations include incorporating specific land use and zoning policies, bike boulevards, accessible street connections between new and existing neighborhoods, finalizing access to the Anacostia Heritage Trail System, and wayfinding sign system coordination. The County Planning Board is expected to review and adopt the plan in January before it heads to the District Council. Council hosted a redistricting public hearing for feedback earlier this month. For background purposes, the city adjusts ward boundary lines every 10 years after the census to ensure equal representation for you on city council. Council is expected to make a final decision between the two proposed maps in December after a final public hearing next month. That's all we have for you, Hyattsville. Be sure to tune in next month for the recap. Hasta la próxima, mi gente. Take care. Bye, Hyattsville.